All right, let's finish this. Uh, let's see, so we're on mission 44. Go to the back of the ship. Jordan is sitting on top of one of the engines that's mostly underwater. Hmm, I think I'm gonna have to probably stay jet lifter for that one. I don't imagine I, I, I can't imagine I'm gonna be able to get out of the uh, water as a heavy striker. Let's hope this doesn't backfire hard on me. Let's see, will Captain Anime be promoted to Major Anime? Not in this game, I don't think so. It, it'd be pretty rad to get some kind of, like, promotion, but I, I think something special would have to happen to get us a Major Anime. And I feel like General Anime would be a downgrade. So this is Verbena. Nice ship you got here. Can you see me? I'm waving at you from the bridge right now. No, there's no we're, there's no bridge. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, there she is. I was on the wrong side. That is hilarious. Why am I down here again? I guess this will be the first time we actually meet in person. So Maeve really exists? Hey, what are you blushing about? Are okay. we going to HQ on this ship? Nope. You're already here. <laughs> Wait. Verbena is the EDF headquarters? Recharging yep, energy. That's correct. Aggressor signals approaching. Of all times, they had to come now! Commander, Charge the main me. generator is still idle. Right now, the ship will not move. Ah, blast team! This ship's weapon system is currently suspended for energy recharge. You must protect Verbena! Roger, disperse and engage the enemy! Nice. Verbena is protected by a special armory, so standard attacks won't hurt it. So don't worry about any stray bullets. This is Lightning. We're backing up Verbena. Well, I've already killed like half of them. That's a good sign. I'm gonna hop in one of the guns. Seeing as I have not actually gotten the chance to use one of these, and oh, wow. Okay. I think this might actually be better than most of my regular guns. Admittedly, the bugs seem to be pretty aggressive at wrecking these things. Uh, that didn't even fall down yet. I, I am confused. All right, well, that one's out. Uh, let's see. Oh! Honestly, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna bother Hopping in one of those guns until more drone ships show up. We got kind of lucky with that one, but then again, like this laser is pretty good at just wrecking, wrecking shop. Get out of my skies! On. Okay, didn't. Well, no, got that one down. You stop us careful, flying around on me. More enemy attack bots. Attack oh these guys. I'm just gonna hide back here where it's kind of vaguely safe. Unfortunately, we are not the most durable characters. And so these guys are actually like a legit threat. Because I, I believe the PA gear, uh, different PA gears actually take different damage. Lightning! 
Uh, did he like just nosedive it or? I. Okay, so more or less hang out at the front and shoot the butt. Or, well, shoot the... Shoot the murder hole. Please die! Did I get it? No, I didn't. Oh, can I frosty... Frosty this... The snow beam this thing? Doesn't really look like it, but that's okay. Please, no. I don't think I actually do nearly as much damage with this. Unfortunately. I'm not even sure if it's affected. Well, it didn't like that. It's not dead yet. I'm just gonna pop a green feeder right now. And I'm just gonna sit here pumping lasers right up right up its big red hole. There we go. Now it's dead. Gargant is down. We did it. You mean I did it? None of y'all did anything. I'm gonna fly around and grab my gibbs for a little while. Oh. And I think it's gonna dump me in the ocean. Main generator energy charge at 120%. Recharge complete. Okay, get her up and running now. Initiate flywheel. Ignite main generator. Connecting flywheel. Ignition. Commander, we're ready. Fabina, lift off! Wait, I'm not even on the boat. Tell me where going to fly? Oh right. Please grab hold of something. I'm not on the boat. They're leaving me behind. Rising at four degrees. Well, All parts working good luck, EDF. Well, I got to think about this whole damn thing. <laughs> Whoops! They just left Captain Manabe behind! This is UNN, Universal News Network. The U.S. West Coast is experiencing a record-breaking cold front. Snow continues to fall in all parts of California. Details are unclear, as we are without an official research facility, but UNN speculates that this is being caused by the mega-giant aggressor creature Rasnid affecting Earth's geothermal energy. According to unofficial EDF opinion, earthquakes are occurring as Rasnid collects geothermal energy. And as a result, Earth's Yo, internal temperature is rapidly gone. dropping. Due to the record-breaking cold, many of the giant creatures around the globe are dying off. However, if Rasnid continues at this rate, the Earth won't last much longer. Universal News Network, signing off. Now that I think about it, we haven't seen much bugs around. They weren't able to adapt to the sudden climate change. At this rate, neither will we. So Flamethrower does more damage, or does less damage, lower range, but really sets them on fire. No interest. Okay, uh, let's see, so that's, we're using the Hastings. I like the Hastings. Let's, let's go see what that laser rifle was though. What is with that weird scope? Reload command will automatically load ammo internally. Oh, it's got an auto reload. Okay. We've got a lot of these things. So we've got the grace. 
So seven way firing. Recharge. Okay. So this is just the uh, Elizabeth or the Gabriella. But seven way shots. It's an interesting gun. But the limited ammo pool, and if I remember right, oh, actually the reload time isn't nearly as bad. Especially because this one's got, uh... What is the downside on this one? Reload time is only 7 seconds, shots per second is only 4. Because the range is good. The ammo is better. Slightly less damage than the Gabriella. Because I use the Elizabeth and it does buttloads of damage, but it, it takes so long to recharge that it sucks. But this one, on the other hand, seems to not have that drawback. Might be worth it. Maybe. I I keep hoping we get a, a bigger version of the GD Anger. Uh, but it doesn't come around yet. And we also have some miniguns, but I'm not super interested in those. What else did we get? I'm still waiting for a better immediate energy thrower. What about... the assault rifle? There's something about a puppeteer. There it is. Bounce gun. Oh, bouncing bullets. Ah. It's not half bad, actually, looking at it. That would be really good for tunnels, but honestly, I've got better things, so it's like, eh. Okay, so I want to take a look at... Laser cannons. Yeah, we still haven't gotten any B-rank laser cannons. I'm really kind of saving up for that one. Oh, boy, that looks like a lot of friends. Uh... Yeah, alright, PA gear, we're going back to Heavy Striker. Let's figure out where this next one is. Mission 45, starting point, go south, look behind a building to the right near the boundary. Run in the sand near the debris. Okay, so easy enough to, to get to. Uh, let's see, but we do want to go customize. Clothing, head. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I don't even know what's going on at this point. I am so confused. <laughs> I do not belong. Oh, in this universe. But it is a beauty nonetheless. I'm not sure if Captain Anime has ever even seen a horse. I'm not sure if he understands what a cowboy does. <laughs> and yet, cowboy hat. He probably just, like, busted down a building and it just landed on his helmet. And he's like, oh, this doesn't quite fit. All right, ditch the helmet. Hat on. Got it. This mission's objective is to exterminate the larvae in area D-02. Right. Okay, 45. Starting point, go south. Look behind a building to the right near the boundary. So I gotta turn right around. Covering defense priority level D areas is promised, huh? Yes. Verbena will also provide field support from above. Oh, that makes me feel better. <clears throat> this is Mango. As you all know, the EDF is planning a mission to exterminate Rossi. Utilizing the Hexacore Cannon implemented on the Rabina. With the Hexacore Cannon, we theoretically should be capable of inflicting sufficient damage. However, using all energy stored on the Rabina will still only allow us to fire two shots from the Hexacore Cannon. When we engage Rasdin before, the Slave gathered from all over complicating our battle efforts. To improve our mission's chances of succeeding, we want you to exterminate all larvae. Okay. So this is a problem. Because more or less they keep stunlocking me. And there's a very real likelihood that they're going to stunlock me out of the battle zone. You left the mission area. Please return to mission area immediately. 
Okay, I'm back in. I'm just gonna get over here momentarily. Because these guys don't destroy buildings as much. Nope, I, I, that is a lie. The problem is there's a whole bunch of these guys like directly behind me. Okay, I'm just gonna hang out here. Ah, shit. There's like three more right here. And I'm frozen. the hell is even going on? Because if I can, if I can just kill like a handful of these guys, we'll be okay. Please just freeze. Luckily their AI is dumb. And they'll just kind of hang out doing whatever. Use the cane before falling down. Always move forward with caution. Just die. Okay, there we go. So here's the problem. There's a drone around here somewhere. Surround the giant creatures and exterminate them. The area getting field support is on radar. Shown in red. Okay, so we have more, uh, a lot more of everything. Is that the best you've got? Come on now! Warning. Airstrike imminent. Evacuation recommended. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well, this is gonna suck. I just missed it, didn't I? Uh, probably, yeah. Oh, God, that is a lot of damage. Okay. Next one. Oh. I gotta go for this guy. Because the other ones are kind of close, but not really. They like to stand directly on top of me, though. Ow. Yes, I did. Y'all don't really take hits for me. Ever. The stun lock in this is very real. Well, I'm pretty sure I can't. Oh God, why are there so many? Okay, oh, you can freeze these guys. News to me. Uh, let's see. Got a late start today? Yeah, we were at Ikea. Shell wanted to go get a dinner table. Okay. I'm just gonna... Climb in a corner. They're less likely to shoot me while I'm here.
Yeah, I think the frost thrower is a mistake for this mission. The frost thrower certainly was. Yeah, supposedly there's a drone around here. And somebody said, oh yeah, there it is. I'd gone straight past it. I had. used up the Hastings. That's why it's taking so long to come back. Well, I'm doing fine at this point. It'll be back in a bit. Okay. Just gonna grab all my goodies. The other one. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Well, despite how, like, freaking dicey it got around here... Hi. Yeah, despite how dicey it got for a bit there, uh, we're in kind of a good spot. We've taken out almost all of the big guys. Problem is, we've got a whole shitload of these guys all over the place. But they do drop health crystals for me. So that's a good sign. Hey, thank you, Arborize, for the 990 bits. Congrats on not be, uh, not having any more finals. I was gonna be like, not being done with finals. I was like, wait a second. That's wrong, and also a dick move. Okay. So this time, let's not use up my entire Laser. Admittedly, I can't see what exactly is going on. I think this guy's in the way, but luckily it doesn't matter. It pierces enemies. Anything that flies in front of me dies. Okay. Probably a little on the overboard side, but that's okay. As long as they go down. I was worried for a second. Come back. Come back. This game needs a Godzilla crossover. I mean, it technically does have uh, Kaiju in it, but yeah, you're right. Like some kind of official licensing thing? I, I would take... You know, if these guys started making, uh, pseudo-licensed games, kind of like how, uh, Koei Tecmo makes, um... Koei Tecmo makes, uh, licensed warrior games for, like, every IP at this point. Like, I would gladly play, uh, spin-offs for other games. Like, can you imagine if, like, uh, I... This would never happen, but if Blizzard straight up hired them to, uh, to make, like, a StarCraft, uh... What is the, um... Oh, God, that would be amazing, actually. What's... What's a, uh... What's a planet from StarCraft? That, I That, you know, isn't... It's not like Ayer, because Ayer would be a little silly. Uh, I mean, honestly, you could do it that way, but I'd... I'd say, like, you're just a basic Marine... Uh, fire bat, or medic, or, uh, you know, let's see, core hall, there we go, core hall defense forces, KDF, and you're, you're just one of kind of the basic infantry classes from, from the StarCraft universe, but obviously you can summon the various vehicles, and you're just fighting against, like, buttloads of, of, Zerg? Uh, buttloads of, like, giant Protoss things. They're both coming at you. Sometimes they're coming at, e at each other. And it's just, like, a dumb romp. Okay, Korhal was nuked in the Stone Age. I mean... That actually could be the end of the story. Is like, straight-up just reach situation where, 
the last mission is hold out as long as you can fighting things uh, as, like, nukes are falling on your face. And then, yeah, eventually you go down. Like, that would be so freaking good! And, yeah, it would probably actually get the devs uh, some more money. Which means they could improve the quality of their products? I mean, hell, like a Halo crossover would actually be pretty damn rad, too. They've got enough for that. Mission complete. Whoosh. Exterminate our larvae, he says. The road ahead is long. We could use a little R&R, &R, if you know what I mean. Charge. Well, ever since a Lydia show has been cancelled, all we hear is you in the news. How much longer will this battle go on? But yeah, I, I don't know. I... On one hand, I don't like licensed games. On the other hand, like, the potential for great licensed games with, like, mechanics like this would be so fun. I almost died. <laughs> they did a shit ton of damage there. Wow, the reward for that mission was kind of dismal. News Network. Earlier today, Rasnid appeared in the ocean near Hawaii. Rasnid's surface temperature appeared extremely high, raising the sea temperature and causing devastating damage to the Pacific Ocean's ecosystem. Facing this crisis, the EDF announced a mission to exterminate Rasnid using its flagship, Verbena. To prepare, the United EDF Navy Fleet initiated an operation to lure Rasnid to the U.S. West Coast. The EDF is calling on citizens across the globe to sign up for this mission. There are already many volunteers, a large number being members of the Kindred Rebellion. Universal News Network, signing off. Let's see, so we got... I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Use it. Uh, get rid yeah. of the Hastings. I like the Hastings, going. but I think it's kind of limited here. Uh, let's see, so we got a shotgun. Does have quick reload possible? You know, that actually straight up might be one of the best shotguns. Oh, but it's got vertical scattering, never mind. Those are like kind of okay. Okay, there is these. So we have the Flame Anger Persephone. Oh, cannot be reloaded. Huh. So it is a flame grenade. You can only fire one of them, and it apparently does, like, buttloads of damage. Huh. Homing plasma shot grenade launcher. The DD Grand Jive Q. What else do we got? Echo Javelin, eh, I mean. Dang. Well, it fires 10 shots, 2,000 apiece, but takes 30 seconds to recharge. That's, that's pain. What else do we got? We got the bouncing bullets penetrates through enemies. In retrospect, the Archimedes might not actually be half bad. Let's see. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to save my stuff for. We also have the uh, Rapid Fire Laser Chandra. Which is effectively Sprite Fall. But that's still kind of rough. Let's see. Art Wolf. Eh, that's okay. Yeah, I don't really know which I want to go with. Well, what are we looking at? Battle in the Sky. Okay, so let's switch the Hastings out for... Honestly, let's just bring the Archimedes back. It does a decent chunk of damage, and... Pierces enemies? I... 
it seems reasonably useful for what I'm doing here. Yeah, even Warframe could learn a thing or two about fighting creatures ten times your size in fun ways. Hell yeah! Yeah, just have it like running around, uh, romping and stomping. My problem always with the uh, with Warframe is just the fact that the enemies have these like long invincibility times, and then just like I get bored waiting for them to be hittable, and it's just like. Yeah, I'd rather just have something with a giant freaking health pool and like it kind of downscales your gun damage a little bit so like somebody can't just one-shot it with an Opticore. Uh. Aggressor signals approaching. Let's take them on. You must Okay, so where's this one? This is 46. Small platform back of the tower bridge. Of the battle cruiser. Uh oh. Pack for Bina. Last understood. Verbena is protected by a special armory, so standard attacks won't hurt it. So don't worry about any stray bullets. Won't be terrain. Watch your stuff. Watch out for pitfalls. Oh man. Huh? I don't know if I can hit that one. Okay, so how do I get over to these guys? We oh shoot. I realize if I miss, I'm falling all the way down. I guess honestly we can use the uh, deck guns to shoot those things. Okay. So we're looking for, I guess honestly, I should probably give some of these things first. Because we're going to get swarmed in bugs otherwise. Specifically, you, god damn, that is sensitive. Nope, this is just going to die. Oh boy. Hi. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Ow. I apparently cannot go fast up these. Mm. Yeah, the problem is... There's a lot of these guys just kind of around and in my way. Hi. Not sure if I'm really hitting that guy. I don't know if I can hit any of these summoning ships. That's the main problem. Oh. Okay, please tell me I'm actually able to hit that from here. There we go. Please, please die. Okay, we got it. Now let's rush them. Okay, so we're still looking. Uh. We're still looking to take some of these things out. The problem is they're just... They're currently just sitting on my face. And... Ah? Not really letting me breathe. Okay. So how do we get up further? I'm not sure if we can. Well, we got this. But yeah, this might be one of those situations where I have to fly. Please stop doing that. Yeah, it bugs me a little bit that the total, totally regular enemy hits are enough to like stun, stun lock me. They come out of nowhere and then they just like bail before I'm able to really respond. Okay. Well, I can get a couple of them. Okay, let's figure out where this drone is first. So this is mission 46. Let's see if it's even one of the ones that I can get to. Hmm. 
No. That is not something I can get to without flying. There's maybe some way, some means to do so, but like, not betting on it. Okay. So is that? No, that one's not vulnerable. Which ones are opening up? This one might be. That's really freaking far away. That one up there might actually. Recharging energy. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least I don't have to worry about protecting the ship this time around. That'd be bad. Uh. Charge complete. Yep. Okay. So that one over there is vulnerable. Now, honestly, not sure if half my weapons can reach it. Okay, this can. If I can kill it. There we go. Okay, so that one's Dunsky. What about you? Do you even open up? I don't think that one does. Like, they, they don't all open up initially. Many of them are just kind of sitting there in reserve. We gotta figure out which one is active. It might be the one in the back, actually. Okay, here they come. Here comes the next wave. Prepare to intercept. Okay. This one looks good. Yeah, take that. Pretty sure the other one is not. I I'm not going to be able to turn all the way around. Yeah. Okay, so that first one is is. Incapable of movement. Or not incom- Yeah, It's not incapable of movement. It doesn't feel like moving yet. I get- get out of here. Can I hit that? Oh shit, I can just hit it from here. Problem solved! Yeah, why hop into turret when I've got all this? Uh, when I- when I've got all this rang. Okay. So where is- I see at least one big energy gem. Ah, oh, it's all the way over there, though. Probably worth it. Especially because we're kind of in the... Oh, no. Ah. Uh, what happens if I fall off this ship? Interesting question. Time to find out. Oh, the answer is we take a some amount of damage. Well, I don't see anything impactful in here. Okay, so no more diving off the ship. That is that is bad. What are you doing? I'm on the wrong side. This is still like the weird side deck area. What I actually want to do is head for that staircase here. But yeah, 50% HP for a respawn seems reasonable enough. Yeah, I was worried that it was just going to be instant death, and I was going to be a little bit mad. Because I was going to be like, oh, You know, like, that that just feels a bit cheatsy. Well, not that cheatsy, but still. Uh, let's see. So where is a safe passage? I guess safe passage is over here. Yeah. Oh, I almost fell off again. Man, you really can just like sail. Why are they, why is nobody capable of killing that one aggressor beast? That's actually amusing to me to no end. Just how I'm gonna say vaguely incapable everybody seems to be in this universe. 
But it might also be like stuck in some butt crack at what am I stuck on? I have no idea. Cooling terminal unit. I where are they? Oh. There you are. Enemies approaching. Look out. Come on. This ain't fair. Give up. Just fool it. I got more in me. Okay, you. Are you even going to dump an enemy or are you just going to die? Because I'm betting it's the latter. Good work, closer. <laughs> Oh, there's another one. Uh, wait. Hold on. Uh. Wait, uh, ow. Damn. That's some accuracy at a distance there. Oh yeah, your max HP is just halved, not taken away. That's actually possibly... I mean, I can work with it, but that sucks. But yeah, anybody else notice the insane amount of dropships just hanging out in the sky? Because I do. And it is disconcerting. And all this on an empty stomach. Anything else? Nope. It looks like the raid ships can release more enemies. Destroy them first. What raid ships? I killed them all. Well, no I didn't. There's just this guy. Shit. <laughs> Damn no it. aggressor signals nearby. Mission complete. <sighs> Good. Now check for collateral damage. This is really... If we have any other sky-based missions on the Verbena, I think I'm just nixing the idea of using this, this armor. It is just risky. Yeah, what level is this? Uh, 46, I think? The drone is up there. Like, right there where my, where my reticle is. Unfortunately, can't get to that one. Uh, let's see. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna fly? 